Welcome to another Forge Hub tutorial. This is PsychoDuck, and today I'm going to show you guys how to script extended timers in Halo 5's Forge mode. By default, timer conditions can last no more than 120 seconds, and the timers for respawning and despawning objects can last no more than 180 seconds. But if you want an event to occur, say, 5 minutes into a round, you'll need to use a more complicated setup, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. For this we're using two of my dummy timer objects as well as two script brains. The first object is going to have the following scripts. First of all, it's going to have a respawn time of 180 seconds on death or deletion. Its first script is going to tell it to despawn after 120 seconds. So that means that after two minutes it's going to despawn and three minutes later it's going to respawn. When it spawns, it's going to change the power set alpha to the on state. Now there are two problems with this so far. First of all, that does account for a total of 5 minutes, however that does not account for the 13 second intro at the start of the round. So it's going to turn alpha on at 4 minutes and 47 seconds into the game, technically. Also, it's going to turn alpha on when the object spawns at the very beginning of the game. So we need actually another script to nullify that alpha power set. So here on our script brain, we're saying with an initial delay of one second to turn alpha off. So that means that alpha is going to be on for the first second of that intro, and then it will be turned off. A second later, we're going to turn power set bravo on, and we're actually going to use an AND gate that requires Alpha and Bravo to both be on simultaneously in order to fire. We'll come back to the third script on here in a sec. So here on our second script brain, we have our AND gate set up. And this says, with a message power multi with two minimum conditions, when Alpha power is on and when Bravo power is on, we will send a message on Charlie. Now, because Alpha is on for a second at the start of the game, and then turns off before Bravo turns on, this condition will not be met until 5 minutes into the game, when the message will be sent on Charlie. However, that will, will actually occur at 4 minutes and 47 seconds into the game, so we're going to need to basically double this whole sequence here in order to get that additional 13 seconds. Now if you're going for a total time of less than 4 minutes and 47 seconds, you don't have to do this. But of course this lets you go much longer than that as well. So here on our second uh, dummy timer, we have on message received Charlie, that's the uh, coming from the AND gate we just looked at. We will despawn. We then have a respawn time of 13 seconds, and on spawn we're going to change the power set delta to on. So again, with this object, we're actually setting power state delta to on twice. We're doing it right at the start of the round, and then we're doing it again at 5 minutes, or 5 minutes and 13 seconds after the intro starts. So we need our third script over here on this script brain, which says on timer of 1 second, we're going to change the power set delta to off again. And that is going to take place before Bravo is turned on. So over here we have another AND gate, which says again on two minimum conditions uh, requiring Delta and Bravo to be on simultaneously, we're going to send a message on Echo. So this condition will be met at precisely 5 minutes and 13 seconds after the intro starts, which will be exactly 5 minutes after the actual game starts. And then we have our doors over here in this case. Of course, you can build anything off of this echo message received. Uh, but in this case, uh, the doors are performing a move offset when they receive a message from echo. And to show that at work, this barrel is actually sending a message on echo. So those will work. And I will show you guys this in game. I think this will actually be pretty helpful, uh, especially in the future once we get infection. Uh, because we'll be able to create events which take place very late into the round of, say, a linear infection 
uh, map, but uh, it should have other useful applications as well. So hopefully you guys find this helpful, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.